Alrighty guys, I'm gonna come to you with a project. I haven't done one of these in a while, so I thought it'd be time to try it again. Plus I need to. So we're gonna I got a piece of old, old truck axle and I'm gonna make a uh, cutoff tool. Now I already have a video on this out there, but let's do it again and see what happens differently this time. The reason I'm doing this is because uh, although nobody knows it yet, it's kind of a secret for today anyway. Hopefully by the end of today everybody will know. But I have an anvil giveaway that I'm doing, and uh, the the poor thing. It's out there, There's a, I think it'll be a Ford side chat that shows it. Uh, picked up this anvil, the horn's been broken off, but uh, I think when I give it away, I'll give it away with uh, a cutoff tool, so at least they have something to get started with. So that's why I'm making it. I'm gonna go ahead and forge as much as I can over on my uh, normal anvil. But when we get ready to size the, uh, the tool for the hardy hole, we'll use the actual anvil over here when we're done. So. I hope I don't have too much steel. Yeah, we'll see. We're going to find out. I haven't done one of these in, I don't know, maybe a couple years. But let's get her in the fire. What I want to do is upset this. It's not quite hot enough. It's a big old piece of steel here. Um, the anvil that it's going into is this one. And it is almost big enough to go ahead and just uh, shape and put in. But I'm going to try to upset it a, a little bit more so I get a bit more of a shoulder than I did last time. And... Uh, that's step one. Reach them, so, so, whoops, wrong set. We're gonna go ahead and just slowly upset this. As much as we can, anyway. Before we start putting that taper in. Already looking pretty good. Everybody's saying you should leave it off the anvil. You lift this chunk of steel off the anvil. with that you can't see down here two ambles working today so I think that's good I think we can go ahead and start putting the taper on and then we'll see what what happens there all right let's start putting a bit of a square on the end of this I don't want to go too far an inch I think but keep in mind I've only made two of these so this is about as new to me as almost anything I've done done, I can go ahead and have, I would say, I want about an inch, inch, well, more than an inch, inch and a half to two inches in that hole. So, Got a long ways to go to get there. And get this sucker a little closer. Let's just check that hole. I didn't actually measure it, but I think the hole of the other handle is seven eighths. It's less than an inch. Anyway. Close to centered as possible. So, if we we're going for my anvil, we'd be in good shape. This one we still got a little bit to go. 
Alright, let's take this son of a gun down a little bit more. Take a look, we got a nice, nice tight fit to start there. And I think I got enough heat where I can go ahead and start this process. Are you in here? I think by the time we get it in as far as we want, I think we're going to be in good shape there. Well, I better do that when it's a little bit warmer. But we'll go ahead and heat her up. And again, this is where I suck. But I'm either going to drive in and build a shoulder here, or we'll try uh, try hammering that a little bit better. But we're on our way. We can drive this thing in a little bit more. Centered with it, but doing this alone and by hand, you're kind of at the mercy <coughs> of the steel in some in a lot of ways. But let's see what we got here. Uh, I think that's not too bad. I think that's far enough in the hole for for this. I don't like at all how my mass is not quite as centered as I want it to be, but let's uh, now let's let's go again on this thing. I think uh, I think I want to go again on this. See if I can get a little bit of movement of this mass where I want it to be. I want it more over here. Straighten this up a little bit more before we go any farther. I'm trying to center it is what I'm really trying to do. I'm trying to move this steel over here, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. I just don't know for sure. But let's do the best we can. Spin that around. It's got to tilt one direction. Let's see if we can move that. a little better. Not perfect, but a little better. Alright, now, the question I have is how much height do I really want on this cutoff? I think I got about 
at least an inch too much steel there. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna heat it up and we'll go ahead and drive it in some more and upset it some more and see if I get it down to the height that I want. Let's we'll see if we can steal a little bit more. I'm gonna strike her sure would be handy, huh? Huh? Good down at the bottom. I think, I think I'm okay with it. As long as she's standing up relatively straight, that's the, that's the key. What I want to do, she's leaning towards me, so we'll drive her in like that. Too shnabby. I don't look too shnabby. I think I'm okay with that. This one doesn't seem to fit very well in that position. question is, how much steel do I really need? I think I need to take about an inch off of this thing, so I'll go ahead and do that. So I took off about an inch of that. I think the rest is exactly what I want. I'll go ahead and just reset this once. It's not as sensitive as I'd like, but we'll deal with it. Oops, missed. And then we'll go ahead and start putting the start putting the shape on this that I want <clears throat> for the point. See if these tongs might almost fit. They don't quite fit. Let me see how well they work. Let's just kind of get try to get stuff where I want it to be. Yeah, see, so we got a little bit of a humper humper going on there. That's the side I want the edge on, I think. If we can get it to cooperate. I'm not liking how we're off to one side. So if I think about this, off to one side. And I really think I want the blade here. Let's heat her up and get that blade tapered. That's my ample since she's bolted down a little more secure. Keep going, this whole project will be done with the fourth pounder. bit of stuff that isn't cooperating. I'm trying to pull it down. So she's flat. Ah, she's looking a little better. A little better. Not going to be centered, but you know what? I guess that's the way it is. Got a little bit more steeper angle there than here. Hopefully I can bring that back around. Let's see what we got to work with here now. 
I still want to try to get these guys evened up a little bit, so I need to come in more here. It's getting there. Ow, it's hard on the hand. Hard on the hand, hard on the tongs. Yeah, we're getting closer. These poor tongs are a little lightweight for this job. Ah, I like it. So I'm just going to go ahead and start pulling that out a little bit. Try to get a bit of a round on it. Hope you're eating. You know what, what we got to worry about here is the roll that's happening up in there. So we will uh, <coughs> heat that back up. We'll go back to the other anvil and we'll get that work back out. If that roll stays, we're in big trouble. A little clean up here. Actually, come on now. You're going to give me grief. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work that center down so it doesn't roll on itself. That's not what I want to be doing right now, but it's what I got to do because I let it get that far. So I need to be a bit careful. Where is the old brass hammer? Just get in there and just kind of open that roll up a little so it doesn't actually pull. And then slowly use. Trying to get a good right angle with this one here. Slowly bring it out. Yeah, that's working. Alright, so again, it's not it's not the direction we want to go. But we let it happen, so we gotta go back and rework it now. And then we'll just gently, instead of hitting straight here, I'll bring that steel back if I can. Excuse me. Alright, so again, so what happened by me hitting back here, everything the outside was stretching, but the inside wasn't. That's why that roll was allowed. So what I need to do now is I need to stay focused on this point and work it back rather than rolling it. Kind of like upsetting and tapering at the same time. I need to keep pushing that back a little. So that when I get this down to where I want it to be. We're not going to have that roll there. So again, I'm hitting back like that. Not just, just not just trying to put the taper in, but actually trying to pull this outside back while I do it. And hopefully we can prevent as much of that rolling as possible. And in the end, we're not doing too bad. In the end, I'll go ahead and clean that up with the grinder just to make sure I don't have any, any problems there. But it's looking pretty good. It's looking wide enough for me. We're not quite done yet. Right. So I'd say one or two more heats. Again, we're not perfectly centered, but I think we're okay. As long as we stand up relatively straight, which we almost do, it'll be fine. Now let's see what we can do. It's not standing up perfectly straight. I want it to go that way a little bit. So I'm going to see if we can do some persuading. 
to get it centered a little bit better than it is. Full go much farther. Well, it's not bad. It ain't horrible. Put her in the amble and see what we can do. Maybe we can move her that way. Ah, hell. It really isn't bad. I know you guys can't see it. I know I'm rude, but I didn't want to waste any heat. So I'm sitting in the anvil and I'm working it this way and that way to get it so when it's sitting down there, it's relatively straight up and down and it's going to be, it is what it is. All right, let's put that finished edge on and we'll be done. Finish this up. Oh, my brush keeps hitting the floor. Finish this up. Let's try to put some symmetry on this thing a little bit. is how much do we want to hammer to an edge and how much do we just want to grind it be done with that. How much do we want to just grind it down? Oh hell, I think we're good right there. Yeah. Okay, let's just throw it in the hardy hole over here. See exactly what you think. See exactly how she looks. I think I can finish the rest up with the ground. If she sits relatively straight. Yeah, she's a little crooked in this direction, but that's alright. What do you want? in that way all right yeah, she's got a little tilt to her but what do you want yeah I'm okay with that all right we'll let this sucker cool now we'll put a rough grind on it she ain't horrible all right we'll just go ahead and throw a rough grind on this Time on the grinder, and there you have it. She's nice, fits in there relatively solid. Hits its favorite spot, which is that one right there. <clears throat> Oops. Uh, I think if I were to suggest, I'd I'd forge a little finer. Yeah, I spent quite a time, a bit of time on the grinder to get that that edge in there. Uh, the rest of it doesn't really matter much. This one I'm not hardening. I hardened the first one, but. Uh, since then, I've I've heard more people say there's no sense in hardening it than they than to say harden it because it's going to be taking so much heat anyway. So there you go, quick and dirty, very much like my original. So that's not bad. A little bigger. That's the original over here, obviously. And uh, I think that's a, a nice little tool. Not too bad. I don't I don't think it took me but an hour or two to make it. Less I think less than two hours anyway. That's a lot of steel to move in that kind of time with a hammer, but we did. And now, the anvil will be given away with, with that at least. Pretty cool, huh? All right, well, thanks for watching. 
Uh, again, I know I did one of these before, but hey, you never get it. You, let's try that again. You can never get enough forging time in watching, learning, or doing for sure. So if you haven't made one of these, go ahead and do it. Like I said, I started with a truck axle, uh, scrapyard, or uh, you know, like a pick and pull kind of place, you know, uh, junkyard. Um, they're usually pretty darn cheap and you get a lot of pieces, a lot of tools out of those things. So, all right, take care. We'll catch you on the next one. Thank you. And look for the giveaway. It's a pretty narrow giveaway, but go look for it. The video will be out there soon. If it's not there already, probably is. Bye.